Good evening, YouTube. Ignore the uh, the debris you see here. I've been cutting wires and wiring everything up the way that I have. Um, and finally, you guys are going to be able to see uh, the project that I've been working on. Um, and that is a dump load controller for my uh, wind turbine I just purchased. Um, that's going to divert from a 24-volt battery bank when it's full to a 48-volt battery bank. Um as it winds up here in the area that I live the wind isn't very um, strong and my my thought process is during the wind gusts of three and five I could charge my 24 volt battery bank um, or possibly even 12 volt battery bank depending on how I configure it um, I could charge that and when the wind actually does pick up and give me bigger big gusts uh, wind gusts I can divert my power uh, to a second controller, um, and that would controller would control a 48 volt battery bank, which is what the turbine is designed for. Um, and then if that controller were to go, which it's not going to, because it's going to be a uh, Midnight Classic. Um, but anyway, if it was the same type of design, if that controller was to uh, get overloaded, it would then go to a dump load. Um, my secondary controller I plan on purchasing is going to be a Midnight Classic. Uh, for now, I'm going to be using a second one of these that I ordered from eBay. And uh, you guys can see here, I've modified the unit that you would purchase. Um, I wouldn't say drastically, but it, it operates completely different from what it um, was originally programmed for. As you can see, this was a 12 volt wind turbine solar uh, charge controller um, it was unbranded but you see it a lot with Missouri wind and solar I believe this one came from a China brand but uh, same equipment basically um, I'm pretty sure that the merchant uh, purchases and rebrands and, and sends out I'm, I'm thinking maybe programs them just for convenience but we all charge a service fee so anyway let me show you what I've done uh, so far, I've programmed this to work for 48 volts, and then I changed that to work for 24 volts. Um, and it's a little dark out. It's actually nighttime on the, the homestead, so um, I could show you me baking a pizza that's in the oven right now with our uh, free solar electricity. But other than that, you're not going to see much inside of the shed because uh, the lighting isn't all that great. It's 12 volt lighting, but it's not all that great. So anyway. Uh, on to the, what I have here. As you can see here, um, basically you have a solenoid uh, that, the way that it's configured currently, this is an always closed position and this is an always open position. And you have the ability to program that using this unit um, by changing the letters from high to low. You can actually make this always open or always closed and then these um, open during certain times. But in my particular setup, Here's how I have it wired up. Um, from here, this is where my wind turbine is gonna come in. Um, that right there is rated to accept a four gauge wire. Um, and basically how I have that configured here is uh, if, if I wanna move the controller, I can move it, take it off, pop it back on real quick and easy. I plan to put a fuse on the the uh, on the battery side. So I, I think that uh, using the open-ended connector make it pretty easy currently this has a uh, I believe it's a two gauge wire running into it that's the only cable that I had of, of length but uh, I plan to run four gauge wire into it from the turbine as soon as I get some more of that coming in I have that um, basically terminated together with a second wire um, also two gauge that then runs over to here and basically how that works um, after uh, after the wind turbine is hooked up is basically this right here essentially powers this contact and this contact at the same time. Now, with this connection always being a closed connection, it'll travel here to the battery, which will connect uh, straight away to the positive um, of the battery bank, of the 24-volt bank, okay? From... From there, that basically would uh, start to run the process. Now, um, this right here is another connection. 
Um, I'm going to wait until the spool of wire comes because I want to run a long run of it. But this wire here would connect to the positive of a 48 volt battery bank, which is my home uh, battery bank inside of the house. And the reason I have it configured the way that I'm doing is because as you guys, uh, if you don't know, if you're new to watching, I have three independent systems running um, my household loads. I have a 12 volt system running 12 volt lights. I have a 24 volt running my HVAC mini split system. And then my 48 volt system runs all of my plugs inside of the home. So um, the priorities are basically uh, gonna be more so the HVAC system when it's, um, we only have a couple of panels on that. I have uh, five total panels. It's all about a thousand watts um, going towards that setup. and. I'm using older batteries and I'm planning to replace those with uh, a, a different lithium ion battery back. But regardless, um, this uh, the priority would be the 24 volt pack for heating and cooling. And that's an always need. And I figured the wind turbine spinning up in the middle of the night would be perfect for that. Normally, my battery bank on the home fills up so fast that I, I honestly don't need additional power except for... Um, Maybe if I'm running heat overnight, and that again turns into why I would run it with my HVAC system. Okay, um, so like I said, this would be the 24 volt controller that would continue out into a secondary controller and continue just the same here. Um, it'll have a continuance so I get solar coming or wind coming in, um, wired up pretty much the same as I have here, um, except for on the other side of the 48 volt, you would have a uh, true. Uh, resistive load um, and that could be a uh, tank water heater um, I was also thinking of maybe even like a uh, baseboard heater um, and until the parts get here I'm, I'm basically experimenting with different things and you'll love what you see and and so far in, in um, testing I've been able to get this to work I've had this hooked up to my 12 volt bank and uh, programmed it to divert to the 24 volt um, and I'll get into the circuitry and the inside of here in a second too, but, um, when it did, so it did turn on the switch and, uh, basically it will start to use that as a dump load. Now, because wind speed of a turbine at 24 volts is relatively low compared to the 48 volt. Um, like I said, I, I feel I'll be gaining additional electricity from the turbine by using this method versus, um, waiting until it spins up to enough speed to, to overcome, um, the diode that's built into the rectifier of the turbine. The diode, basically, if you guys uh, are studying electronics or know much about it, it, it keeps um, it, it basically keeps current from back flowing. And the way that batteries work and the way that electricity works, until that voltage is higher than the incoming voltage, it's going to continue to try to fall back towards the diode where it's being blocked. But as soon as that voltage rises, then that diode allows electricity to come in. So with the turbine, same principle, a 24 volt gateway would open when it feels that the, it has somewhere for the electricity to go, thereby allowing the turbine to be used early. And when it get, actually gets up to the rated speed, it'll cut off here. Um, this turbine here is uh, actually set up at uh 24.4 i think the kick back on and i think i got it at 28.8 um the turn off for the turbine so basically when it kicks up to 28.8 volts the turbine um basically with free spin uh just like it would any normal time that it would trying to catch up to the 48 volt it'll free spin until it catches the 48 volts which this this connection already here would be closed to allow the 48 volt bank to to then pick it up basically that diode would would be put on a 48 volt load at that point and it wouldn't be allowed to charge into that diode if officially goes above that so basically low wind wind speeds i'd be able to control my 24 volt bank higher wind speeds i'd be able to control my 48 volt bank now inside of this box um I've, if you guys have one of these you can look inside and see mine's made a little bit different um, just based off of the wiring that I had to redo. Um, basically, you do have a common negative that comes in. And essentially what it does is it reads the voltage coming in. And this right here 
isn't hooked up, but my plan is to hook it up to the shunt that I have inside of the shed. I have to go in and buy the new terminal ends that post in here uh, in series with the negative coming from the 24 volt battery bank um, and also in series with the uh, 48 volt making these grounded together as a battery which it already will be anyway but um, huh. I'm gonna have metal shards on my legs when I go to sleep I'm gonna change these sheets anyway um, what I did is uh, basically keeping with the common ground I uh, um, placed the common ground here that's a different wire because I cut it too short um, despite the fact that it's white it's actually a negative wire um, for the uh, solenoid and then here you have a positive and it comes over and this goes over to the switch okay um, the difference here being if you follow these wires here you have a uh, positive basically a positive cross and a positive cross so positive negative positive okay neutral or ne nothing all right positive and then negative now because this is a switch that's activated by the electronics um and it and it regulates a 12 volt uh i think three amp um current flow to to trip the solenoid um i had to wire this wire to right here so that the switch could actually work on this um which is the positive it reads battery voltage um, instead of running a separate wires through this, uh, essentially I follow this up to where my battery is connected. Okay. You guys see the red tape. I just basically set that as a separator. There's a spacer here to keep this from grounding out, but I put that little extra tape just in case. Well, anyway, it's, uh, behind that washer and it's flat, flattened, uh, strapped to the, uh, to this bolt basically. Okay. That goes to the battery. And then you have the battery out for the positive going over here. So basically the sense wire doesn't have far to go. The negative is one that is going to travel and it's going straight to a shunt. And uh, if I had to build this again, I would, or if I had to build this actual mount, I would have the shunt mounted directly next to it. I might even put it in a box, um, a Cantex box, and just and put it all together and put a voltmeter on the front of it. Make it my own different controller. Um... In fact, I could do that for a couple of you guys if you're interested in seeing how it works um, for yourself. So, that's that's what I've done. Um, I'll be working on a little bit more when the new parts come in. I want to run a negative side of this as well. Even though the um, shunts are going to be in series, I'd like to actually separate those as well. Um, but basically i've made a way for my wind turbine to be able to run a 24 volt bank as well as a 48 volt bank um what do you guys think if you uh have any comments put them inside of the the uh, bottom of the the page here you like what you see like and subscribe um you guys have some input or your own perspective on how this would work or even want to show me some of the things you've done uh just comment below or pm me and i'll get back to you. I'm, I'm really interested in the wind. I'm interested in solar. You might even see me building a computer every now and again, but this is my passion. This is something I love to do. I love to interact. Um, for those trolls that were from, uh, uh, uh there was some troll from, uh, England, I think it was that ended up putting a negative, uh, comment on there that, uh, YouTube blocked. But regardless, uh, you guys kind of see where I grow um no more knowledgeable and, and more uh savvy with this as as i make more videos and as i explain and build and play and experiment so um like i said follow the the advice i gave just a few minutes ago like and subscribe to the video um comment if you have your own things if you don't like it tell me what you don't like about it and we'll talk about it but um i did want to share this with you all right good evening